Yo, been here. Today I am bringing you something that I am very excited about. Home Assistant now has an official disc image. And it's called Haspian. Okay, maybe that doesn't get you guys excited, but it should. Because this is now the easiest way to get started with Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi. If you're new to all of this, the disk image contains the files which make up the operating system on your Raspberry Pi. You copy the image to the SD card, and then you put the SD card into your Pi, and then your Pi can run. No SD card, your Pi doesn't even turn on. So what's so exciting about having a dedicated Home Assistant image? Well, it used to be that you had to first install Raspbian or Raspbian Lite. Then you had to run a separate command to download all the Home Assistant dependencies and then the Home Assistant files. It wasn't that big of a deal, but sometimes things could go wrong and it just didn't work for some people. Now you just download the Haspian image, copy it onto your SD card, plug it in, and you're running Home Assistant. It's that easy. So if you go to the Home Assistant GitHub page, you might notice that there's a new repository called PyGen. Huge shout out to Frederick. He goes by the handle Landrash on GitHub for his awesome work on this code. Basically what Frederick has done is he assembled a code that assembles the disk image that you're gonna use. For the typical Home Assistant user, you don't need to care about this code. The only thing we're after is this release right here. This release is the actual disk image. This is what you're gonna download to copy onto your SD card. If you're curious about how this disk image works, or if you wanna know just in general how disk images are assembled, you can check out Frederick's repository. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so how do I install Home Assistant? Well, first, go to the repository and go to the Release tab. Then, under Downloads, select the latest disk image. In this case, it's from September 19th, haspianlight.zip, and I'll go ahead and download it. Now that that zip file is downloaded, I'll go ahead and extract the image file. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my micro SD card, and I'm going to put it into my SD card reader and then I'm gonna plug that into my computer. Then I'm gonna use an application called Win32 Disk Imager. I'm gonna select my SD card, and then the disk image that I just extracted, and then I'll go ahead and hit Write. It'll ask if it's okay to format the SD card, and I'll go ahead and hit Yes. Now that that's done, I will take the SD card out of my computer, and I'll put that SD card into my Raspberry Pi, and then I'll connect an ethernet cable and the power. And that's it. One thing that's really important here is that you hook up an ethernet cable to your Raspberry Pi. What Haspian does is on the first boot, it goes out to the network and installs the latest version of Home Assistant. Downloading Home Assistant on the first boot is a really eloquent way to avoid having a million disk images. It's pretty awesome. Because it has to install Home Assistant on the first boot, I'm gonna give it about five minutes before trying to connect to Home Assistant. So, now we wait. Damn. Uh. Okay, now that it's been about five minutes, the next thing I need to do is to find the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. To do that, I'm going to use an app on my Android phone called Fing. For iOS users, I'm sure there's other apps and there's a lot of other ways to do this. But basically, my phone is connected to my Wi-Fi network. And then Fing scans that network for the devices that are on it. I'm going to go ahead and look for my Raspberry Pi. And there it is, 192.168.1.142. So I'm going to go to Chrome and I'm going to type 192.168.1.142. And then I'm gonna say colon 8123 and then hit enter. And ta-da! There's Home Assistant. So easy. That is amazing. Hopefully, this can help you guys get started with Home Assistant super, super, super easily. Thanks much to all the developers and users who are working on Home Assistant who are making it so awesome. As a person who loves home automation, Home Assistant is like one of my favorite tools to do the things that I want to do. So thank you to all of those people. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section below or on my website. Also, be sure to check out the Home Assistant website. Besides having a ton of great information on it, there's an awesome form and chat room if you need help with Home Assistant. It's an awesome resource, so definitely be sure to check it out. I think that's about it for this one. I have some exciting stuff coming soon though, so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. As always, happy automating. Cheers.